Here is the 2024 Ram 1500 TRX. In this video, I'll be going over what trims are available with the Ram 1500s, what safety features you get with this TRX trim, the exterior, the interior, the infotainment system, and the pricing. If you guys are new here, my name is Jason and I do reviews on vehicles here in Canada. So be sure to like and subscribe for more videos just like this one. Also, thank you to my Mississauga Chrysler for allowing me to review this TRX. Be sure to reach out to them and ask for Stefan. Starting with the different trims you can get when it comes to the Ram 1500s, you can pick from eight different trims. This will be the Tradesman, Bighorn, Sport, Rebel, Laramie, Limited Longhorn, Limited, and the TRX. Also, depending on the trim that you pick, you can either get it in two-wheel drive or four-wheel drive. Also, you have the option of picking from the standard bed or the long bed, and again, depending on the trim, and also from either a quad cab or a crew cab. Each of these trims will have their own unique features and options, as well as exterior looks and interior looks. Now, as for the safety features you will get with the TRX trim, this includes the Park Sense front and rear park assist and the forward collision warning with active braking. This TRX does have the advanced safety group which also adds on the pedestrian emergency braking, lane keep assist and the adaptive cruise control with stop and go. And also if you end up getting the TRX level 2 equipment group which this truck has, you also get the blind spot and cross path detection and the park sense front and rear park assist with stop. Taking a look at what powers the TRX, you get the crazy 6.2 liter SRT Hemi V8 supercharged engine. This is going to give you a whopping 702 horsepower and 650 pound foot of torque. With 0 to 100 kilometers in about 4.5 seconds, towing wise, you can tow about 8,100 pounds when equipped properly. If you're getting a truck like this, I don't think you care all about the fuel economy, so I won't even bother getting into that. Also lifting up the engine cover, there is a small little easter egg here where you have an image of a T-Rex eating a raptor. The front of the T-Rex looks very very aggressive. At the bottom you have the aluminum skid plate along with the two tow hooks as well. Right above the skid plate area you have this mini lower grille area. Also the front safety sensors. The sides you have the LED fog lights and the front bumper is powder coated. Then you have this fully open grill area for all of that air with the mustache look there. Even the big ram letters are open so air can go through them. And with this design, this delivers about 32.9 liters of air per minute to the engine. Right below the ram letters is the front facing camera. Then are these mean looking adaptive premium by LED headlamps. Also, if you look closely on the sides of the front lights, you do have these functional vents, which is pretty cool. Also, you have these marker lights on the sides of the bumper since this thing is pretty wide. The TRX has the unique TRX specific performance hood with the functional air scoop which also has more marker lights and the heat extractors on the sides. You'll notice the TRX hoods graphic on this truck which is an optional thing. Also you have the 6.2 liter supercharged badging as well. And the TRX has a ground clearance of 11.8 inches and 13 inches of front suspension travel and 14 inches of rear suspension travel. Coming to the side of the truck, you can see the aggressive stance of the TRX. As you can see here, this thing gives you an idea of how wide this truck really is and compared to the other Ram 1500 trims, this is 8 inches wider. Now up top, this truck does have the optional dual pane panoramic sunroof added to it. Around the windows, it's all black trim and black door handles as well, along with the black side mirrors with the integrated turn signals. And underneath is the side cameras as well. Also, on the front doors, you have the blacked out RAM badging, plus on the fenders will be more functional venting. And another thing added to this truck will be the off-road style running boards. As for the wheels, you get the sleek 18-inch black polished aluminum wheels with the beefy 35-inch tires. Also, the suspension on the TRX has to be top-notch, of course, so you're equipped with the Bilstein shocks. On the bed, you'll also notice the TRX decaling, and this is an optional thing that you can add on as well. And back here is another marker light. Coming around to the back of the TRX, just like the front, the rear bumper is also black powder coated and you get the big dual exhaust setup. There's more hooks back here as well and underneath will be the spare tire, also the hitch back here along with the usual towing outlets. And as you can see right above the towing outlets, you've got more marker lights and also the rear safety sensors back here. By the way, the TRX sounds pretty insane, so have a listen for yourself.
On the tailgate will be the granite TRX badge, the black RAM lettering, and the 4x4 badging. On the tailgate handle will be the rear camera, and if you look underneath, there is an LED light there. As for the rear lights, these are also LED with the sensor there in the middle. You do have this venting next to the lights, but it's not functional. Opening up the tailgate, you do get the spray and bed liner, and another optional thing with this TRX is the soft tonal cover. But in the bed, you've got the LED bed lighting, and with the bed utility group that this truck has, you also get the four adjustable cargo tie down hooks, and on the rear glass will be the power sliding window. If you look above that, there will be a light and a bed camera. Coming into the rear of the truck, the door trim is pretty much the same as the rest of the 1500s, but with a bit more luxurious trim. At the bottom, there's a good amount of room there, and next to that is the speaker, and this truck does have the Harman Kardon sound system that is packaged with the TRX Level 2 group. In the middle, you have some more small storage space. On the armrest area, you've got leather and this nice red accent stitching. That's because this truck has the optional TRX red interior accents option, and you'll notice this throughout the interior. Then up top, you do have this whole section in this nice suede material. Also, this almost black chrome trim and a perforated section here. And yet another thing that this TRX has is the optional carbon fiber package, so you'll notice that throughout the interior as well. As for the rear seats, you get all black seats, but with this truck, you'll notice the red accent stitching and the trimming on the sides, which does stand out. There's also the side sections in suede as well, and the middle perforated sections. The rear seats already come heated, but adding the TRX Level 2 group, this is also going to give you the vented seats. Also, the rear seats can be reclined a bit so your passengers back here can enjoy themselves. The middle section will have the cup holders and more suede on this area. Opening this up, you do get some storage space here. Now above the rear seats, you do have two more speakers up top and lifting up the rear seats, there's some small storage space that you can utilize. Even on the mat here, you have the red RAM logo which is pretty cool. And if you lift up the mats, underneath are the rear in-floor storage bins for that added bit of storage and you can also remove these if you want to wash them. Behind the driver and passenger seats will be small storage spaces along with more suede and this jeep like paneling. On the rear console will be more cup holders and more carbon fiber trim. Then is just the venting, some small space, rear heated and vented seat buttons, USB ports and a 115 volt outlet. Coming to the front of the TRX, it's just like the rear but with a bit more space at the bottom and you also have an extra speaker up here which is in red as well. Then are just the usual window and side mirror controls along with the driver memory seat buttons. As for the front seats, these are just like the rear with the red stitching, red trimming, suede trim, and the middle perforated sections. But up here, you do get the red TRX stitched into the seats which is a nice little touch. Plus, the seats are pretty comfy. And the front seats do come heated and with the same TRX level 2 group, it adds the vented seats. Both of the front seats do come power adjustable and underneath you do have this bright pedal kit which again is with the TRX level 2 group. Also will be the hood latch release and above is the electronic parking brake and the power adjustable pedals. Moving further up will just be the lighting controls and you'll notice more of the carbon fiber trim around the cluster area and the steering wheel is manual adjustable. Entering inside of the truck, the dashboard has hard and soft material and more red stitching. There's also the speakers there in the corners and since this truck has the TRX level 2 group, this will also add on the heads up display which is a nice thing to have. There's also more suede there in the middle of the dashboard with another speaker. Now, when you start up the truck, you do get this nice animation. And as for the cluster, this is fully digital, which is amazing. All of the details on this are nice and stand out. You'll also notice the illuminated corners, and there's a ton of vehicle information that you can go through on here. And not only that, but you can also have a full map view here. You can also change the display as well, so you can either have it set up like this or like this, and both are nice. The steering wheel is wrapped in leather and also has suede plus carbon fiber trim. And it has a flat bottom, and this is included with the carbon fiber package. Plus, the steering wheel does come heated. On the left side will be the cluster controls, phone, and favorites buttons. The other side has the adaptive cruise control settings. Behind are the paddle shifters and and media controls, also the wiper, high beam, and indicator controls. The armrest area, you guessed it, it has more suede and red stitching, plus this nice TRX plaque. 
There are two sections to this, so opening up the first one, there is some storage space here with a USB port, and opening up the other section, you do have this measurements section area. This gives you a bit more deeper storage space, along with a 115 volt outlet. Also, along the sides of the center console is more leather and the stitching, and this small storage area. Now, on the center console, you'll find the cup holders, which if you close this, it has more carbon fiber trim. There's also this tiny space here, and the sleek looking shifter with the perforated area, leather section, more red stitching, and this trim around it that has the nice designing. Behind all of this is more deep storage space with a wireless charging area which is packaged with the TRX level 2 group. Then is some more small space, more USB ports, and a aux port. You also get the red start stop button that's surrounded by more of the carbon fiber. Now if you come down you have this TRX button and different modes so you have a few to pick from. And depending on what you pick this will change the image and the cluster. Then you've got the speed select button, traction control, four wheel drive auto, high, low, axle lock and the launch button. And yes you can launch this bad boy. Right under the screen will be the trailer brake controller and the trailer steering which is an added option to this truck. There's also also the four auxiliary buttons and the front and rear safety sensor buttons. Then you have this nice looking 12 inch touchscreen with Uconnect 5. There's a bunch of things on this so let's just get right to it. On the home page you do have this split screen setup and you can even add more widgets if you want. Also pressing on the edits pages here and selecting add page, you can also change the layout of the screen. Under the media section will be the AM, FM, Sirius XM and you can wirelessly connect your device. Under comfort will be the temperature controls which you can also use the buttons along the sides of the screen. But for the heated and vented seat and steering wheel controls that will be done through here. Then is the map section which is pretty responsive. Under the phone section you can add two devices at the same time. Now under the vehicle section and under control this will have the mirror dimmer and vehicle cameras and as you can see there's a bunch of different camera angles to view which makes parking and even towing and even off-roading pretty easy. Then under the dashboard there are a few things like the performance pages which you can see all sorts of info about the truck like the timers, gauges, dyno and engine, g-force and vehicle dynamics. Next is the race options. Here you have the launch control and you can set the rpm to your liking. Next we'll be the shift lights which you can also adjust for each gear. Then is the race cooldown. Once you're done ripping on the Ford Raptors, you can also go back into the different drive modes again and each mode will have its own custom setting. Then is the trailer tow pages where you can view trailer info, cameras, light checks and setup. Heading over to the settings section, here you can adjust other things about the truck. Finally is the app section and this is pretty much what I just went over and you've also got Alexa built in. If you see the little temperature control in the corner at the top of the screen, you can press this and it'll bring out a shortcut menu. Also swiping down on the screen brings up a shortcut menu. Right above the screen will be the lane keep and hazards button. Now on top of the dashboard is more open space for things and a 12 volt outlet. Plus around this will be more carbon fiber trim. Trim. And if you look on the sides here, you do have this nice brushed aluminum trim. Up top is just the mirror and again with the TRX level 2 group, it's also a digital mirror. Then is just the tailgate, interior lights, assist, SOS, rear power sliding window, sunshade and sunroof controls. And like I mentioned earlier, this truck has the dual panel sunroof option. Here is the key fob and what it looks like for the TRX. Coming around to the passenger side, on the dash is more red stitching. And then this section here, you've got more carbon fiber plus a TRX badge. And opening this up, you do have some storage space in here as well and you've also got the usual glove compartment and like the driver's side on this side there's also the storage area on the sides here is the window sticker for this ram trx you've got the standard things and the optional things added to this truck the msrp you see is in canadian dollars and this may be minus any dealer discounts or manufacturing rebates if they're being offered well that does it for the review on this 2024 ram 1500 trx let me know what you think of this do you love it or do you hate it